And compared to how difficult the last couple of things were, this should be a breeze. Icicle Pyramid, the boss, the Silver Coin Challenges, they're probably more difficult than these trophy races will be. So consider this our little victory lap for, um, what, what I, I forget what this place is called. And hey, look, TT is racing. TT, the stopwatch, is racing. And these guys are actually putting up a fight. Wow. I forgot you guys were sort of, kind of, maybe good at this in trophy races, but, you know, with the triple blue boost here, I'll just be able to blow by you before you guys can say, holy crap, is that a pink mouse? Oh, come on! God damn it, if that's not enough to pass these guys, I don't know what will be. I really don't. No, what is... Two of those? Two holy missiles? Really? Two? 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 Really? Two? 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 Really? Two? And I just caught up to them with that triple green boost. Just caught up to them. Jeez. Oh, you're, even you're trying to shoot me down. I mean, give me a break. Everybody's going after me. Just because I'm the human player, right? Oh. I can't get the triple boost now. I need to settle for double. Should be enough, though. There we go. Ah, these are harder than I remember. I remember these to be cakewalks. I mean, the original races are so easy. The, these, by comparison, are somewhat of a challenge, but not enough to make me start cursing people's names. Oh, Morris Cove. This is going to be the last time we see you, isn't it? I'm going to miss you, Walrus Cove. I don't know if I'm ever going to play this game again after this. I, I, I don't know. I love this game. I, don't get me wrong, I really do, but there's only so much you can get out of a game. I mean, it's nice to reminisce about your childhood and play some of the games that you enjoyed when you were much younger, but I mean, with so many other things going on in life, it, it's not too often that you'll get to go back to these sorts of things, so enjoy them while you can. But I'm sure you guys are worried about, well, oh, I've got so many other games I like playing that I'll never play these games again, but... Change of pace. It's all about change of pace. Those new games that are with, riddled with awesome graphics and online multiplayer... There's just something about them that doesn't bring back the same sort of charm that these old school games do. I guess that's why I'm even shoving these games, actually. I mean, sure, it has something to do with, well, um, I like playing video games, and I like talking, so, and these are the video games I'm most familiar with, so why not play these, but... Nostalgia. It just gives me one more reason to play these games that I enjoyed as a kid, and to share these with you if you've never seen these games before. To just show you what gaming was like back in the day, or... Let you reminisce about these games that you played when you were a kid. That's the feeling I'm going for. It's so hard to follow up a rant like that. I just... I feel so warm and fuzzy inside right now after all of those stressful races and things that I went through in the last hour. It does sort of annoy me that I drop into 8th place when you split the path like that, even though you could pretty much be ahead of everybody else there. So let's pull our way through the stupid... Uh... Well, I should have asked this question when I was talking about it, but I might as well ask it now since I haven't already. 
For those of you that have played both games, which do you prefer? Mario Kart 64 or Diddy Kong Racing? And I'm not talking about in terms of fairness or in terms of storyline or adventure or any of that crap. Just in general. If you could... Okay, let's say... Mm, you're in a store. There's one copy of each game left. And you're fighting with another customer about who gets which game. Which one do you take? Do you take Diddy Kong Racing or do you take Mario Kart? Me, I'd probably take Mario Kart, but this game is pretty fun. Speaking of Mario Kart, I don't know when I'm going to do that again. Not, not again, I mean... Mario Kart 64, I would like to do that. I'll be honest with you guys. I'd love to show a drive-through of that game, if you want to call it a drive-through. Personally, if I'm ever going to go a, through a drive-through, I better get some fast food out of it. But, I don't know, I might show that game. It annoys me that a few of you have never played it before. It, it's the classic racing game for the Nintendo 64, if such one exists. And it bothers me that people like Pie Man, if you're watching, I doubt you are, haven't played that game before. I mean, sure, Super Mario Kart probably launched the Mario Kart series and... I don't know how popular that was, because I, I mentioned before I didn't own an SNES. I still don't own an SNES. I have no idea what that game was like. I mean, I've tried playing it on an emulator, but its controls are really weird. I don't know how popular that game was. But Mario Kart, is, Mario Kart 64 was certainly the most popular racing game on the Nintendo 64, without question, although this one was definitely up there. I hit the tree twice. It actually surprised me how popular Diddy Kong Racing was, how popular this game was. I, When I was a kid, I didn't think it was that popular. I thought it was just some weird racing game with a bunch of, player, bunch of characters I'd never seen before. I mean, Rareware, obviously, they introduced I said before, they introduced a lot of characters in this game. They introduced Banjo, they introduced Conker. I forget what I was talking about, but that's okay because I won the race. I'm not quite sure what I should do at this point because I'm really in the mood to stop, but I'm halfway through a video. What should I do? Hmm. Okay, tell you what. Instead of starting another race, well, it would be kind of weird if I didn't. Huh. I don't know what I'm going to do, actually. I can't just complain about not knowing what to do. But, uh... Wow, that's really pixely water. Okay, so I guess we'll go to Sherbert Island. Pretty sure it's Sherbert Island, anyway. Confuses me because Sherbert Land in Mario Kart is a snowy level, and this is tropical. So I think instead of um, going through these races, what I might do is just cruise to get the key and then do the battle. So doing things a little bit out of the order that I was doing them before. I hope you guys don't mind. Now, the key here, you would never find if you weren't looking for it. I might have even missed it already, unless it's over here. I'm pretty sure it's over here. Wow, is that water pixely. I, that, that's got to be the emulator. And I got the key without missing it. So, yeah, we'll get the battle done, and then... I don't know. We'll see. This battle is going to be very similar to the one that we did in... I forgot what the place was called already. Um, that's the boss, silly. It was Snowflake Mountain, that's right. This is similar style battle, except you use the hovercraft. Dark Water Beach. Now, what 
I like to do is sit on one island and spam for red balloons. Because red balloons are the easiest to hit people with. Oh, I missed. Okay, this water is really pixely and I... Uh, that's that's got to be the video plug-in. Is that Diddy? I, no, it's not Diddy. It's Tip Top. I wanted to hit Diddy. I hate Diddy. Yeah, this is really weird water, but it's kind of cool looking too. I know it's definitely not supposed to look like this. I can guarantee it doesn't look like this normally, but it is pretty cool looking crystal-like water. Who the hell did I hit? Did I hit anybody? I thought I, I was going to settle for hit and conquer, but it didn't look like I hit anybody. Am I facing the same four characters I was before? Oh, Conquer, you will pay for that. You will pay for that. Diddy! Damn you, Diddy! Damn you, Diddy. Where are you? Die! Oh, you hid from me, didn't you? Thank goodness that wasn't headed for me. Should I be heading for Conquer? Mm hmm. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, you can see them through the... You can see them through the wall. You shouldn't let the hovering... You shouldn't let the crosshairs fool you. Hi, Conquer. So be very careful when you fire these things that you can see the enemy in your sights. So you can see them in front of you. And again, I was holding the drift button expecting to use the item, but... Let's get protection. Always use protection, boys and girls. I had to make that joke with the shield. It, it's just, like, impossible to get through here without using that. So, Tip Top's dead? Oh, crap. It's just me and Conquer now. Well, it's time to conquer the battle arena, then. Where are you going, Conquer? By the way, I don't know if this is of interest to anybody, but I have never played Conquer's Bad for a day. Uh, I don't know, if one of you guys recommends it to me, I might play it. I'm not talking about Let's Play, just try it in general as a game. Casually play it. That's the second time I hit her before she was able to get her shield up. How poor for her. There we go. Anyway, I've never played Conquer's Bad for a day, but I might try it one day. We'll see. So that's the third piece of a TT amulet. Amazing. Just one more piece to go. And in the next part, guys, we will start racing in Sherbert Land. Till then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Let's fittingly go through the exit door, because that's how all of these parts should end.